Hello everyone, my name is Mohammed from Web Switcher. I'd like to show you today how to log in as an interpreter. I'm using a Mac machine, uh, but um, uh, as you know, a Web Switcher is a web based uh, uh, platform, so it could be use, used on a Mac or Windows. Uh, I suggest to use a Chrome or Firefox. So I open Chrome and I have a token that already set for this so uh, for this session I'll go to webswitcher.com sorry webswitcher and I click on quick access and I have a temporary token that's set for this uh, demo 82345 I could use um, the i as a lower or uh, case I as an interpreter this is my token for this session and this is a temporary token uh, usually the uh, organizer or uh, web switcher will email you every time there's a session will email you a new token so I click on join now for the first time because uh, the, uh, that uh, navigator using web switcher is going to ask you for uh, for a permission to use your camera and your microphone even if we're not using the camera so we need a permission for future upgrades so you click on allow and you click yes here so make sure now your headset is properly connected to your laptop so it's um, it could be either USB A or USB C so make sure please it's uh, plugged now and then you enter your name then you go next if you don't have if you don't see your uh, headset uh, name here you click on the down arrow here and you search for it here and you select it today I'm using a Lenovo Pro wired stereo headset and this is a great option it's I suggest everyone to test this before clicking on next you click on start, start talking. talking if you hear yourself in the um, uh, headset so that means your microphone is working that's a great proof for you that your microphone is working and if you hear when you click on it and you hear your sound coming out of your uh, laptop speakers uh, in the Mac you go to system preference and you click on audio and you make sure the output here is selected USB and your input on USB as well then you close everything and then you do the setting again in Windows you just have to go to sound settings and make sure um, uh, your headset is chosen for speakers and for microphone okay so then when you're ready you click on next now it's time to test your sound in your ears so if you click on the speaker so, uh, you should hear music for five seconds then all good you click on next now it's time to choose your outgoing channels so you could either you could choose one or all three or two so it's your choice uh, today I'm gonna use English Spanish and then I click join so as you see here I got two channels on my outgoing and I got my relay on the left hand side for English Spanish and French these are set um, for this session now it's showing engaged here because I have another computer turned on as an interpreter and logged in as an interpreter and the microphone is on if I turn her microphone or his microphone off then the engage disappeared from here so if I go I go on again and I change my outgoing channel so every time I change my outgoing channel then uh, it would show engaged on the channels now if uh, if you you see engaged on English and you click, click on, on English, English here, here you should be able to hear the your partner you have the option to choose between the floor or, or the other interpreter channels and or you could select the floor with another interpreter channel and you use the mixer over here well done so I have I have to log in you see now I'm not I'm not I'm in a standby mode now so I have to make sure I click when I'm ready uh, to work to click on start interpretation now I see the microphone here 
and I have my handover option okay if I don't see these that means I forget to click on start interpretation start interpretation it puts me in the line with my partner okay so and you see here is my, your partner if you click on interpreters here you see your partner here so I, I call the other interpreter number two now uh, one uh, so if you choose floor and other channel you have a mixer here if you click on the mixer now you could mix between the floor and the French channel this is a very useful option in case a uh, uh, chief interpreter listening and uh, wants to test his students uh, quality uh, now I'm going to show you the handover option that's uh, the, the uh, most important option for interpreters working from different locations so the handover is here you click on handover and uh, now since the uh, the other interpreter is working and for some reason if she has a problem or she uh, went over time you want to take over uh, if you if you need to do a handover you cannot look what's gonna happen if you click your microphone must be on to make handover so handover if the live interpreter is giving her microphone handing her microphone over take over it is taking over from another and a working interpreter so you select an interpreter to and you take over so you send the request once she accept right away your microphone is gonna go on and you're ready to go now I'm gonna do a request from her from the other interpreter look what's gonna happen you receive the message that the other interpreter wants to take over once you accept your microphone will go off and she's on that channel now if you have if you are working if you are working and you want to do handover so you select the interpreter you want to hand over to and you click handover and then once she accept right away you're off and she's on now if she's working and she wants to do the handover to you so she's gonna send you a request now let me send a request handover request you received a request from another interpreter it's a handover so look what's gonna happen to your microphone when I click on accept accept so then you're on and you're live your microphone here could be either turned on by selecting the microphone with your mouse or hitting the space bar on your keyboard that would turn on your microphone on and off by hitting the space bar the cuff button cuff button is the C letter on your keyboard if you hold it down you hold it down it would mute your microphone or using the mouse as well the uh, the other options is you have the chat you could chat between support and the other interpreters privately between interpreters is private and the pin if you need to pin a speaker from uh, the left hand side if you see images on the left hand side here you could pin them and uh, over here for any reason you unplug your headset and you'd like to set your headset so you could choose it from the list here and you could set it up again and I suggest in case you have a problem you always log out and you log back again this is uh, our demo for today thank you for taking the time to listen to me and uh, hopefully you will get the pleasure to work with you my name is Mohammed again and um, I'll, uh, I'm reachable on info at webswitcher.com thank you and have a good day